Hey, welcome back to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. This week we've got a title from 2004 that I've been getting a lot of requests to review, so here we go. It's that newspaper of terror, Premonition. Premonition kind of plays out like a really good uh, Twilight Zone episode where a man is with his family. He's a gifted professor. He's got a small daughter and tragedy strikes when he finds this strange newspaper that seems to reveal the future and it just reveals all this awful stuff that happens to the people around him and the people that he loves so it's kind of like a race to try to figure out the mystery of this strange newspaper and what to do about it so overall I found the story very engaging it's pretty interesting it's not the most original uh, bit of fiction but it's got enough plot twists and enough um, surprises along the way to keep you interested and overall I thought it was a very nice film and the ending was done very well and yeah I liked it I thought the acting in the film was very nicely done it's a good job by the ensemble cast um, the movie does get a bit slow in some places um, I will admit that and sometimes it does feel like it's knocking off a bit too much from some of the other heavyweight Japanese horror titles but uh, beyond that it, I found it to be an engaging film and I quite enjoyed it so yeah this is something that while it's not the most original or shocking piece of cinema to um, hit your DVD player it does it provides a nice evening of, of entertainment and for that it succeeds the DVD was released by Lionsgate Films um, as part of their J-Horror uh, collection. Um, so far they've also released Infection and um, Reincarnation as the other two. And um, so far, as of 2008, there's still no word on a fourth film in the planned six. But maybe someday. Anyways, uh, the DVD has some nice extras on this one as opposed to the Infection uh, disc. This one's got some nice behind-the-scenes stuff. It's got some, like... Um, bits with the actors, and it's got like uh, the making of. So yeah, actually there's some quite uh, good footage to be had on the DV, so good job Lionsgate. Good job. I should also mention that the director of Premonition, Norio Suruda, also directed Ring Zero, and uh, that was actually a pretty good Ring movie, so yeah, I quite like this director's work, and uh, I think he's one to watch um, in the coming years. Premonition was a film that I thought was done very well. It might not be the most shocking or the most violent or the most bizarre film that you're going to see, but like I said, it provides a nice evening of entertainment, and I quite enjoyed the story, and I felt that at the end of the day, everything is kind of tied up at the end, and yeah, it it left me with a good feeling, so I thought, hey, this is a this is a modern one that's that's worth checking out, along with Infection, actually. So, if you get a chance to watch this, I highly recommend it. I know there's an American movie that came out last year called Premonition, but although the plots are kind of similar, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a remake or kind of based off this movie or not. I don't really know. I never saw that one, so I can't give my opinion on that. But this Japanese film, Premonition, from 2004, is a good film, and I think you'll enjoy it. So, yeah, thanks for joining me on this review, and we'll see you next time. This will tell me the future of what's going to happen to me, but it's all just about Boogie Pop. Am I Boogie Pop?